Welcome back. On today's segment, we'll be talking to a delicate woman diva. She chooses to be simply known as Queen. And if you get to see her, you actually, I mean, understand why she actually has to, be, has to go by the name Queen. Well, Queen, welcome. She called the house today, telling me this, telling me that, where you both slept last night. Boy, you know that I'm right. She said your love's getting stronger, but I can hold much longer. Now you they put us under. I just Thank you. All right, then, Queen. Who is Queen? Well, Queen, basically, what I represent to everyone on the street is uh, an artist. I'm a singer and um, I've been doing this for uh, professionally for 10 years. Uh, I am from Abia State. I uh, was born in Enugu State, grew up in Ogun State. I've been everywhere. Jeez, yes, it's good to travel. <laughs> Home. It's good to be all around, yeah. Mm. Yeah, um, we settled in Open State because my father was a soldier, so after his service, he decided to stay there. So that's why I live there. Okay, why the choice of this career? The choice of this career because um, when I was young, um, I used to be a member of a choir, you know, and I love music, I love the sound of it. So I decided to pursue that career, you know. I just knew instantly that was what I wanted to do. So some people take eternity to find exactly what they're meant to do. Some people just find it like that, and I did. And um, I've pursued it since then. So, yes, I'm happy for you. I mean, judging by your beauty and all that, you should have been someone, possibly a beauty queen, a model, but you chose music. I did um, um, a few pageants years ago. I was actually in stories um, years ago uh, in Abuja when the contest and I was first runner for Miss Abuja. So that's another form of art which I indulged in, you know, at some point in my life. So. Where did it all start? Okay, I initially said that I started singing in church. And um, back then in Abeokuta those days, I had friends like Xmas, um, Kwame, the Nigeria guy, uh, Magnificent, Teddy, you know, they were all music guys. And we were doing this, and I just thought, oh God, I want to keep doing this. I moved to Abuja later on in life, and I got a job at um, Charlton Hotel and Towers as the female singer of the band. I did that for a couple of years. But I was doing people's songs, but I got tired of it and decided to do my own thing. My first single came out in 2001. It was a track called Olurumbi. I featured Pasuma. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Definitely. Did I have. you? I yeah, that was the first professional thing that I did. And I've come out to release a few more singles after that. There's a current single right now, it's called Jebele. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, I have. Jebele, yes, definitely I have. And it was a good one. Thank you. Um, the challenges I faced uh, basically were people not accepting me as a female singer because this industry is more of a male dominating kind of environment. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that was a big challenge. I had to do triple work for people to give me a chance, you know, to mm. believe in me and know that I'm serious about what I'm doing. Yeah, that, that was the major, major challenge for me. Um, it's still there, but it's a lot better. I think people begin to accept me. I think. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Who are your role models? My role model was my mother. Absolutely, in every sense of the way. She's been my rock. She's guided me all through life. She's been there for me. She tells me just 
the way it should be. She never lies to me like anyone else would lie to me. So I love my mom. She's been my role model. Really. <laughs> Really, really. Outside your mom, there's no other person who. Uh, my mom is major. Mm. <laughs> no musical icon you can actually look up to. The out musical and say. icon that I would look at, that I look up to is Fela Nikolaku Kutsi. I think he's a prophet, I think he's a genius. He's outstanding. You know, <laughs> his works are classics, evergreen, you know. So he's my number one um, mm. person musically. Yeah. How about a diva? I mean, I don't believe in this diva diva thing, but uh, <laughs> if I was going to pick other artists, I would say Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Tony, Tony Braxton, Celine Dion. Uh, they were, you know, they're great artists. They're great artists. You were all I had. You broke my heart in two, and that's so sad. Affected your career. Those who have affected my career, I would say Fela. Fela is the it's the most original person that has because it talks about things that are real, things even after his death. You you you, you listen to his song and you just see those things happening in your environment. You know, <laughs> it's number one for me. It's number one for me. I don't think anyone can top that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, what are you doing outside music? Um, basically into music, uh, there are other things I could do, but I, I do feel I could be distracted right now doing other things. I'm basically facing my music and until I sort of find my place, then I can um, indulge in other things, which could be fashion, design. I love fashion a lot, so yeah, at some point I would love to do that. So for now, it's just music. It's music. just music. music. Just it's, it's just music. And I know fifty ways my time. I don't think I can spend my life with you. Alright, what has been your best and worst moment so far? <laughs> I can't think of any there there are, but I just can't come up with any right now, sorry. I'm sorry, I can't come up with any. Your best? Your worst? My okay. The worst one, I'm going to leave that out, but the best, musically or personally? In all ramifications, your personal life, the best thing musically. The best thing personally is my child. That's the best thing that's happened to me. Yes, it's the best. So, for now, what is the next level in your career? A Grammy won't be, nice, won't be bad. Um, MTV awards won't be bad. You know, all these awards. It would be fine to perform everywhere. I love to be on stage. I would want to go places with this music. Mm -hmm. I like to represent Nigeria, and that would be a great thing for me to, to achieve. your team fans out there? Um, just um, believe in yourself. A lot of people would tell you you can't do it, but they're lying to you. Whatever you set your mind to do, you can do it. You can achieve it. You can, you, you can do it. You can make it happen. Just stay focused and work hard and pray. You've got to pray. And definitely it would come to pass. Really. Amen. <laughs> How often do you pray with you? Every day. First thing in the morning, if I speak to anybody, and before I go to bed, I pray. We have been talking to Queen. Well, until next time, when we get to speak to another musical artist, for now, it's bye-bye. Goodbyes, one word that is very hard for me to say. But unfortunately, I have to say that word. But I'll take consolation in the fact that we'll see you again next time. Be good. Bye-bye.